This tutorial demonstrates how to preview your Tumult Hype document in Windows Internet Explorer. As you create your documents and animations, it's important to ensure that your document looks and performs correctly when viewed in different browsers and devices. Testing animations, performance, and text settings in many browsers is important to ensure your documents look great everywhere they're viewed. To preview on Windows, you have several options. You can upload your document to a web server and open its URL on a Windows PC. You can open the exported files from a folder in Windows. Or, you can open your exported documents from a server running on your Mac. We'll demonstrate how to open your Hype document from a server running on your Mac, as this method lets you quickly test your document from the same computer. To use a Windows browser on your Mac, you'll first need to install Windows in a virtual machine. VMware and Parallels are two applications that allow you to run Windows on your Mac. Microsoft's Internet Explorer testing website, Modern.ie, provides downloadable virtual machines which host Internet Explorer 6 through 11. The browser shown here running in VMware is Internet Explorer 10 on a virtual machine downloaded from Modern.ie. Now that we have a virtual machine running, the next step is to set up a simple web server that can host our documents to the virtual machine. We'll use the free Simple HTTP Server app, available on the Mac App Store, to host our documents. This simple application serves content from any folder on your computer and makes it accessible to browsers both on your computer and to other devices on your local area network. Next, we need to prepare our Hype document for testing. Export your document to the desktop with the Create and Closing Folder Export option enabled. Install Simple HTTP Server, available in the Mac App Store, to serve your Tumult Hype document to VMware. Open Simple HTTP Server and choose Start Server from its menu extra. This address would work if you wanted to preview your document in a browser on your Mac, but since you're going to preview in a browser on your virtual machine, we need to slightly modify the URL by adding a port 8000 to the address. Get the IP address of your Mac by opening the Network Pref pane and copying the address from the Active Network Connection. To connect to your web server, switch to VMware, and in Internet Explorer, enter your IP address. You'll need to append a colon 8000 to access the correct port on your web server. When visiting that address, you can choose to preview any HTML document within the Nicaragua folder on your desktop. Choose Nicaragua.html. Now, anytime you want to test a new version of your document, you can quickly export and replace the old version and just refresh the page in Internet Explorer. Internet Explorer also has its own suite of developer tools. We can profile JavaScript and use the Network tab to see what content takes the longest to load. This line represents the Google font used in the document, which is loaded from a remote server. All browsers offer some form of developer console. If something isn't working correctly, it's a great idea to first check the console for errors or warnings. For example, if images aren't appearing, errors may appear in the console section. For a deeper explanation of what you can learn from the developer console, please watch our other tutorials linked below. To understand how long your document takes to load in the real world, upload your document to a web server and open the URL on your device. Differences in internet speeds and other factors will determine how long it takes to load so it's important to test using the server or service which will host your final document.